All right then, so I feel like this is going pretty well. We can now add data, remove data and query data. But at the minute, when we add something or delete something over here, this UI is not very reactive. It doesn't delete it from the front end. And likewise, when we add something, it doesn't add it to the list. So we would like that kind of functionality. And in order to do that, we're going to look at the real time capabilities of Firestore. So essentially what we'd like to do is set up some kind of listener inside our application here, which is actively listening to our Firestore database. And when a document is added or is deleted or changed in that database, we want to be listening for that change. We want to hear it so that we can react to it here on the front end. Now we can do that in our Firestore by using a method called on snapshot. Now, if you've ever used anything like jQuery or other kinds of JavaScript libraries, you're probably familiar with things like on click. We grab an element and then we say on click, do something. So this is the same kind of thing. We're saying on snapshot, do something. So when there's a change in the database, then what we're going to do is fire this function, which reacts to that snapshot. And then we receive that snapshot back of that updated change, if you like, to the database. OK, then, so let's do that. Let's set up this listener inside our code over here. So first of all, I'm going to delete this stuff out because we're not going to use this to get our data anymore. We're going to use this real time listener. And when our application first loads up and it's listening to the database, it's going to listen for those first documents, not because they've changed, but because this is the first time it's listening to the database and the ones it sees in the database at that time to begin with they are counted as new documents to our application right here. So it's treating those as being added, if you like. So we're going to use this real time listener to grab those initial documents as well as any other changes in the future. Therefore, we don't need this thing right here. So anyway, let's go down here and do this real time listener stuff. So real time listener. All right. So we still want our database and we still want the cafes collection. So we'll say dot collection. And then inside, we want the cafes like so. And we also want to order these by city. So we have that reference now to these documents. Now we want to say on snapshot. We want to say when something changes in this collection, we want to fire this function, this callback function we're going to pass through to this snapshot method. Now we receive that snapshot back of the collection at that moment in time when there's a change. So what we can do is detect the changes to the database via a method called doc changes. So I could say let changes equal to the snapshot, which we just received back every time there's a change dot doc changes. Now, what I'm going to do is log this to the console so we can see it console dot log changes. OK, so let's save that and view over here. Now, we shouldn't see these on the left, but we do see these six things right here. So this array of these six different objects, these are the different changes, right? Each one of these is a document inside our Firestore. One of these things, one, two, three, four, five, six. It represents one of those. So you can see right here, the type of this change is added. That's what Firestore says has happened when we first load up our application. So we could get those and output them here now to the DOM. And we also want to listen for additional changes when something's been added. And we can tell the type of change by this type property right here. If something's been deleted, the type would be removed, etc. So what we want to do is cycle through each one of these first of all. And we want to check what type it is. If it's added, then we want to output it to the DOM. If the type is removed, we want to take it away from the DOM. Make sense? So let's do that. Let's get rid of that. And instead, we'll say changes, which is that array we just saw, dot for each to cycle through them. Now, inside here, we'll take each individual change as a parameter to the callback function. And what we'll do is console.log for now, the change dot doc dot data. So what we're doing here is we're grabbing that change. We're seeing the document on it. And we're grabbing the data. Remember, this is how we get the data inside a document. So let's see what happens now. And now we can see all the different 
documents right here and all the data in those documents. That's pretty cool, right? Okay, so we can get rid of that now. I just wanted to show you what that was. And now we want to check the type of change. Is it an added or is it a removed? So we'll say if and then change dot type is equal to added. Then what we want to do is add this document to the DOM. So we'll say render cafe because that's how we render a cafe or um, a document to the DOM. And we'll pass in the doc and that is change dot doc. So we get the document of the change just by saying dot doc after the change. So whenever there's an added, we're going to render that to the DOM via this method right here, this function right here called render cafe. OK, so that's that bit done. Then we'll say down here else if the change dot type is going to be equal to removed. Then what we'll do is we want to delete that from the DOM. So we'll say let li equal to cafe list dot query selector. I'll explain this in a second. And then inside here, I want to use the attribute selector to say the data hyphen ID is going to be equal to something. I'm concatenating the change dot doc dot ID right here. And then I close off the attribute selector like so. OK, so what am I doing here, first of all? Well, I'm trying to grab the li tag on the page. So one of these things that's going to be listed down here where the data ID attribute is going to be equal to the ID of the document which was changed. So if I delete a document in Firestore, then this is going to fire right here, this on snapshot event, because there's been a change. The change is going to be a delete type right here, removed rather. So this is going to fire. So I can get the ID of that document that's been changed by saying change.doc.id. So what I'm doing here is finding the li inside the DOM where the data ID attribute is equal to the ID of the document which was just removed from the Firestore. So we've got that li tag now. Now we just want to remove it from the DOM. So I could say cafe list dot remove child li like so and it's going to remove it from the DOM. OK, so let's see if this works. I've saved that I'm going to head over here. So first of all, it outputs all of those. And that's because these were all added types. When we first load an application, it sees the initial documents in the collection as added changes. So we're outputting those here because when the type is added, we're calling render cafe and passing the document through. Now, if I delete something, and that's being deleted in the Firebase. We saw that delete from here there. And that's because when there's a change, again, this is firing. The change.type is removed because we've just deleted it from the Firestore. And then we're grabbing that li tag based on the doc ID and we're removing it from the DOM. So this is your real time listener right here. It's reacting to whatever happens in the database when there's a change, if something's been added or removed or edited. So this on snapshot method right here is what we'd use to set up real time capabilities in our application.